subscribe my channel p sarala hit the bell icon so that you are notified every time i post a new lesson welcome today we are going to learn about heterotrophic nutrition we already know nutrition is divided into two categories uh, autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition so we already studied autotrophic nutrition now we are going to study about heterotrophic nutrition hetero means other or different trophic means nourishment so these are the organisms which depend on other organisms uh, for food to get energy so heterotrophic nutrition is divided into three types saprophytic nutrition parasitic nutrition and holozoic nutrition let us study one by one in detail so saprophytic saprophytic nutrition sapras means dead so in this type of nutrition the organisms depend on dead organisms so examples are bacteria fungi and mushrooms yeast is also a saprophyte so the organism which show such type of nutrition are known as saprophytes so bacteria mushroom and molds are the saprophytes so this is the bread mold so these are the organisms which release digestive juices on the food that is a dead organism and they broke down the macromolecules which are present in the dead organism like carbohydrates proteins and fats and digest these macromolecules into simpler molecules and then they absorb the food and get energy so such type of nutrition is known as saprophytic nutrition or saprotrophic nutrition so in these animals the digestion occurs outside the body you have to remember that one next parasitic nutrition so here parasite means so here the organism depends on the other organism for the food material so the organism which gives nutrition to this one is known as host organism and the organism which gets benefit is known as a parasite so parasites are very small when compared to the host organism so they live on the host or inside the host and get nutrition they don't kill the organism but they damage our host or they harm the host example lice sticks leeches and a tapeworm so cascuta is the only plant which is a parasite so the remaining these are the animal examples cascuta is the only plant which doesn't contain chlorophyll that's why it is a heterotrophic nutrition and that too a parasite you have to remember this one cascuta is a plant which lacks chlorophyll that's why it is not a autotroph it is a parasitic plant next so the parasites may be external parasites and internal parasites if a parasite lives outside the body of the host then it is known as external parasites example lice leech etc so the parasites which live inside the body of a host then those are known as internal parasites example tapeworm this is the tapeworm so this is about the parasitic nutrition so next one holozoic nutrition so holo means entire so in this type of nutrition the organism takes the whole food material directly into them without degrading without digesting them so the entire food is digested inside the body of a organism such type of nutrition is known as holozoic nutrition so after intake so the food is digested inside the body of the organism and the digested food is absorbed to release the energy so the undigested food is liberated or it is removed from the body in the form of a fecal matter so example for holozoic nutrition or 
uh, from amoeba to human being the nutrition is holozoic nutrition so i hope you understood happy studying